and welcome back to Gardening, Gardening with Momo. Momo. It's been a while in between videos, we apologise for that, but life got in the way, but we are back. So, we're going to be talking about rhubarb today, some do's and don'ts. We've been really loving the rhubarb, we've been cooking some rhubarb muffins. muffins. Uh, we've been making rhubarb chutney. Uh, I have found a recipe for a rhubarb and strawberry jam. Yeah. And Jimmy's going to be making some rhubarb and apple mini pies, which is going to be so yummy. Mm -hmm. um, so back to the rhubarb. It's very easy to grow, very hardy. Um, basically, they recommend that you fertilize twice a year. Now I usually do this in spring. Um, and at the beginning of autumn and I use either worm tea from our worm farm bin or I use sea sole and power feed. Basically I water the plants first, water the soil sorry, um, and then when I mix up the fertilizer or when I get the worm tea then I'll pour it into the soil. I find this best because it soaks in and doesn't have a runoff. Our rhubarbs are about three to three and a half to four years old um, so we can harvest harvest our stems quite as often as we want now. Yeah. Um, they recommend in the first year of growing and the second year not to har the First year they don't recommend to harvest and second year they say minimal. Only so that by the third year it's grown to its full potential and a healthy plant. Which ours have done. Haven't they? Look how yeah. big they are. Yeah. So when you go to harvest the stems, Jackson's going to demonstrate how. I will. Um, Gardener. Gardener Jack, sorry, my mistake. Um, basically, they say don't cut off at the stem. Um, give a little twist and a uh, like a, a gentle sort of pull. Um, only because then your stem's removed from the rhubarb and can grow healthy. Um, if the stem's left behind, it can attract a few pests and diseases and a um, bit of yuckiness for your plant. So... Would you like to demonstrate how to do it? Yes. Okay. Okay, Jackson, so pick the stalk that you want. Yeah. And you yeah. give a little twist and just a gentle pull and it should come out. There you go. How easy was that? Easy. Yeah? It was only two steps. Twist, pull. Yep. And they're not hard to pull out, are they? Yeah. Alrighty. This one, this is, this one is just a little far down. That's all right. Now, when we take it inside and cut it up, we just dispose of the end part there. Um, and remember, the leaves on your rhubarb are poisonous. This is because of the oxalic acid in them. Um, so we cut them off just at the tip there. And you can either dispose of them in your garden waste bin. Ours here in Australia and New South Wales are green. Um, so we put them in that. Or you can put them in your compost bin. Um, but I have heard if you cut them up or mulch them up, you can put them in your worm farm. We will be doing a video on this. Um, it shouldn't have any effect on the worms, but follow us on the video and you'll be able to see our results. So I would also like to say a big thank you for our 100 subscribers. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, please continue to like and share and we'll see you in the next video. Yeah. Thanks for watching.